Hello there, wonderful Wilder YouTube. It is your girl from Seattle coming at you guys with another Ink Diary video. For those of you guys that recognize this notebook, we did an Ink Diary video, I believe it was about a month or two ago. And we're going to go ahead and do one this month as well. It's going to be featuring one of Ferris Wheel Press's upcoming releases. I'm going to go ahead and preface this by saying that this was sent to me by Ferris Wheel Press. All thoughts are still my own. We're going to be reviewing this live, getting the reactions. But I can already tell you that it's going to probably be like a favorite because I just love the color green. The color green is my favorite, which is why I was so excited to receive this one along with the matching pen. So just remember if you guys are interested in getting the brilliant or brilliant bean to stock collection from Ferris Wheel Press, it does launch on September 1st. If you would like to support me by using my code, don't forget to use SWIM at checkout. It does get you a free ink charger set with your purchase. The ink charger sets retail for around $15. So a hey, it's like a $15 discount, right? So again, don't forget to use code SWIM. I do receive a small commission at no extra cost to you, and it is very much appreciated when you guys support the channel. So let's go ahead and get to what we got here for, which is the ink. As always, Ferris Wheel Press has beautiful packaging with beautiful detailing. I always keep the boxes. I kind of put them away in a little bin, so if I want to go back to them, and then I store my ink somewhere else. But I love when they do the fairy tale collection boxes specifically because it has the information on the side I feel like this is super beginner friendly because it tells you what the base color is which in this case is green and it tells you what the qualities are like for example in this case we don't have sheening we do have a champagne shimmer and shading is meant to be high now another little feature I like is when they do the little side stories right here where like let me go ahead and read this one out to you it says climb up and don't look down nurture and care will yield a stock strong enough to bring you to new heights while each step may feel more monolithic than the last with perseverance and courage you can reach for the clouds and discover a lifetime of treasure isn't that so cute honestly you can look at this and you'll find like new details every single time you do but we're gonna go ahead and get to the exciting part which is unboxing this baby and this is what it looks like you can really see the green it's kind of even overtaking the champagne color of the shimmer a bit but how awesome is that? Now, let me go ahead and bring you guys just a bit more closer. We're gonna go ahead and start swatching the ink itself. I did change the layout just slightly from the previous video you guys saw. In the previous video, this was cut a little bit shorter, as well as this one, they were just like a little bit of like a rectangular shape. This time I carried it for the majority of the page, just so that we can kind of extend the ink and see how we can get it from like, you know, kind of light to dark, or more ink less ink again we're still featuring the same paper types which is archer and olive um the tamoy river and the loic term which are my three most used notebooks we're gonna go ahead and give the ink a shake and it's always important to shake or whatever this movement is called your shimmering inks just so that you can reincorporate the shimmer into the base ink because the shimmer does like to settle at the bottom. To start off, we're gonna go ahead and go into the Archer and Olive paper, and we're just gonna go to the end as best we can. So as you can see, it's getting a little bit lighter as you are running lower on ink. One thing I'm gonna do a little bit extra is just dip a little bit back in and oversaturate this little area right here just so we can kind of get a better effect of how it's going to be if you have a wetter pen on the paper. I'm going to go ahead and close the cap. And I don't think I really need to, but I always like to do it anyways. I like to re-shake. And then we're going to go ahead and dip in. Now we're going to go into the Tamoy River paper. And we're going to do the same thing. You're going to start and you're going to bring around. Now from the feels of it with the Tamoy River paper, it doesn't feel like it's like absorbing any of the ink, so it feels like it's kind of like just sitting on top of the paper. 
we're gonna go ahead and stir her up one more time and we're gonna do 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 shake it shake shake for the loitering paper and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing dip a little bit at the end drop some droplets and with this little dribbly drip I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the little potion that we have here not the little potion bottle the ink bottle just a little bit more and if you guys would like this ink bottle for yourself first watches Yoseka actually sells it on their website very very lovely now from here we're gonna go ahead and shake it one more time but that's gonna be for the writing sample we're gonna be using a dip pen I was gonna use like a B nib pen which gives you like more of a monoline finish but I haven't played around with it enough and honestly I don't want to ruin it even more so than I am with my writing so pen has been dipped we're gonna go ahead and just do very simply various wheel I'm gonna try to center this as best I can we're gonna do press and again just for those of you guys that are wondering the ink is brilliant beanstalk so we're gonna do that right here Honestly, I should have done the name a little bit bigger, but it's okay. We're going to continue to dip into the ink. And all I'm going to do on the paper right here is just put like A and O. Just on the little top corners, T. R for Tomoe River and then just L for Leuchtturm just so that if I ever come back to the notebook I know which papers I swatched it on similar to the other video we are going to do like some little swirly swirls and some little dash marks And maybe we'll even color in some of the little leaves that they have right here. I don't think I see any other ones, like maybe right here. Just to play with the ink a little bit more. Ooh, it's spreading. Alright, so now that we've done that part, we're going to go ahead and just give it a few minutes to dry that's when we're gonna like really be able to see if any of the inks or how they really settle on the page so be right back alright you guys we let it dry and now we're gonna take a closer look to see what the inks look like on the regular Tomoe River paper where you have the ink swatches you can kinda see right here the ink itself kinda like dispersed you can see the shading very well on the Leuchtturm paper as well as the Tomoe River paper, but you do seem to lose a bit of it on the Archer and Olive paper. So if you are an a &O user, just do keep that in mind. However, if I had to say, I think the Champagne Shimmer stands out the most on the a and O, as well as on the Leuchtturm paper. The Tomoe River paper looks probably like it kind of gives me a hint of moss park moss park green with uh the champagne shimmer which moss park green is actually my favorite green from ferris Wheel press so i actually really do like this base green i'm getting 
you get a little bit more of an olive toned green on the A and O as well as on the Loitern. Not so much on the Tamoya River paper. So as you guys can see the green on the let me try to see. There you go. So the green on Loitern as well as an A and O is a bit more saturated as opposed to on the Tamoya River paper where you get more of like that flat like almost cool tone green or is it warm tone green I'm trying to figure it out but yes you can see like the green here is a little bit more subdued the shading however is the most pronounced you like I said before you do get shading on the Lloyd term but the Tomoy River paper takes the cake for the shading you can even see it here inside the little ink bottle as well as in some of the little art decos and the writing sample was done with a glass dip pen it is very fine I'm trying to see if it'll like focus for you guys Oop, come on you can do it camera you can do it all right so it did it when you shift the writing you don't really get a lot of the effect of the shading you do however when you kind of go like that it almost looks like it sheens from the shimmer so when you kind of go like this like you see how it kind of you get like the dark darker green, and then you kind of come back up and you get a little bit of a lighter wash i would honestly recommend if you want to get the nicest output or not the output the light the nicest how do i word this <laughs> if you want to get the nicest effect for the ink I would definitely say inking this in a medium nib or higher. Personally, I would probably say bold. You'll get a lot of this beautiful shading and complemented by the champagne shimmer. But overall, it's actually really nice. Like, I would put this in a fine pen. Just because, like I said, you can get, like, almost like a fake sheen with it when you, like, move the paper because of just how fine and how evenly dispersed the shimmer is in the writing sample. Alright you guys, but that is all for this video. Would I recommend this ink? 100% yes I would if you're a fan of green. If you like Moss Park Green and you're a Tamoy River paper user, definitely get this. Again, this ink does release on September 1st if you're interested in purchasing it. Do not forget to use code SWIM at checkout. It does get you a free ink charger set of your choice. All you have to do is add it to cart. Once you add the code, the price of the ink charger set is discounted from your total and do not forget that if you're someone that loves to match your pen to your ink your pen to your ink it does release with a matching pen look at this and honestly look at the packaging it's just absolutely stunning thank you guys so much for joining me for this video i hope to see you guys in the next one if you guys are loving this little ink diary series and you would like to see more inks being displayed and then we go over them i do have other collections that are not just very well pressed so we can go into one of those maybe we'll do vintage inks next but we'll see all right other than that before i continue to ramble thank you guys so much again for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in watching more of these videos go ahead and check my playlist out below currently i just have one more video aside from this one but i'm gonna go ahead and continue adding on to it so there's that all right adios adieu bye